Greetings, everyone. I have a package here. It was sent from a Patreon supporter, channel viewer. Really appreciate that. And, uh, well, here comes Snickers to check it out. I already know what it is, if you read the title, but let's pop this open and see what's inside. Well, look at that. A new to me oscilloscope. It is used, but I think it's still in production. Siglent SDS2202X-E. 200 megahertz. Uh, two gig sample second. Now look at that screen. Isn't that nice? My other scope, of course, is the Rigel. Uh, what is it, a 1052 or something like that? It's a very old model. It's been out for like 13 years. I'm not sure if they still produce it or not. But it's, it's a nice introductory scope. But this is just, you know, newer with a higher resolution screen. The, big, the screen's bigger. Um, two channel. I think it's their uh, baseline scope, except that it's a higher uh, it's a higher model of their baseline series, I guess you could say. But yeah, that is pretty nice. Turn that off. It's got that uh, phosphor type display, where I mean it's an LCD, but it. Uh, supposed to uh, emulate a phosphor type analog scope and here's the controls yeah that is super nice really appreciate that people sending things in to old John Audio Tech here and that's not all he also sent in this amplifier board uh, what is that there? Yan Yang Hing or something like that. Looks like a LM3886 board. Amplifier board here. It's got little preamps on it. Uh, we'll certainly hook this up and give it a test in a future video. Is this good content? Sleepy Eye Kitty. Man, look at that handheld stabilization. Okay, have the new scope set up on the bench here. Move the Rigel down here. And yeah, look at the difference in screen size. The only problem is they make all the text smaller and since my eyes aren't the greatest it is a little harder for me to read but yeah more information at a higher resolution I think it's a uh, 800 by 480 and this is like a 320 by 240 or something like that screen so a big difference there so yeah, it's uh, two giga samples a second at 200 megahertz, which is plenty. That's nice. Serial decoding. A uh, bunch of little modes. I'm not going to go into everything here. That's what EEV Blog does when they review when he reviews the scopes. Uh, it has a neat feature. It has a 50 ohm mode. It doesn't have the auto detect type probes but it does have a 50 ohm mode and that could be handy so what I'll do is uh, I'll run some tests to make sure everything's working just fine I don't suspect there'd be any problems and test out the FFT mode see how it compares to the old Rigel 
I notice one thing on a lot of scopes, the FFT mode is really meant for RF. It doesn't work that well for audio. Even the high-end spectrum analyzers don't go all the way deep enough into the audio spectrum. So yeah, I'll have to test that out, see if the FFT does work better than this one. I mean, I, this one works actually as good as you can it can on an 8-bit scope, so I have to see how that functions. I really do appreciate getting this scope. The person who sent it didn't want to be identified in the video, but man, that is really generous. This scope is not quite an entry-level scope. It's you know like a step or two above. I think it's six or seven hundred dollars, and yeah, that, that's pretty generous. Yeah, it is a used scope, but it you know it's in really good condition it seems, and uh, seems to be working just fine. So thanks a lot for doing that. I really do appreciate that. All the other things people sent me. You know, I had, uh, if Mike, if you're still listening, I haven't seen a comment from you in a while, but, you know, he bought that camera for me a while back. I really appreciate that. And I've had some other things like the multimeter sent to me. A lot of generous people out there. This is really a bright spot. 2020s has been pretty down so far things going on with my brother you know we have this virus thing going on you know it's cutting into my work I'm not getting as much work thankfully I did get a little bit this week but you know it's nothing like it was they're going to send these relief checks out to people bad news for me I owe about that much in taxes so I have to send it right back but yeah getting a gift like this is a really nice present Okay, I guess I'll wrap it up here. This kind of popped in here. I was working on my next Chip Amp Done Right video, which will be premiering pretty soon. So I hope you stick around for that. Thanks for watching.